Government corruption has never been more prevalent or caused more harm. It's why extremism is on the rise. It's why the financial gap between the haves and have nots has never been wider. And it's why our planet is at risk of an extinction level tragedy. That's why I need your help to keep exposing the truth about the rot on both sides of the aisle. Become a supporter or a friend of the show today by clicking on the coffee link in the description box below. Friends of the show, join me on a Zoom hangout once a month, and you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I can get to know you better. But the most important reason to help is to keep the show alive. Together, we can and will save our country and our planet. Thanks in advance and enjoy the show. What I'm saying is, is you know, these people could have all the good intent in the world to save the, the, the democracy that they think uh, is being stolen from them from their fraudulent election. But by doing what they're doing in the way that they're going about it, they do it a, the right way. Great. But the way they're going about it is literally going to destroy our country because yeah. I cannot foresee a path that where, where things are going to be okay where things are not go they're going to come back together and they're going to be like singing kumbaya that's just not i don't i yeah. i don't think that can happen especially uh especially if the arrests that will be made from the january 6 uh committees on un uh uncovering and mm -hmm. the doj's commitment to holding people accountable if that happens for real uh i i really think that there might be a massive uprising in a way. And yeah. unfortunately, the DOJ has, I, I feel like that's a chance you got to take. You got to do it. it oh, that's yeah. just how it is. But yeah, no, you can't, you can't think politically about it. They have to make decisions for legal reasons. Yes. And if you don't take action, if there are people who should be arrested and they're not, then, I mean, this is just going to be the beginning it's going to get worse and worse and there's going to be a next time and a next time. And, you know, that, that's my biggest fear is that they're learning exactly right now, the blueprint of how to be better at it the next time they're figuring out all the fissures and all the, you know, cracks that they can slip through all the laws that they can subvert and that aren't in place and yeah, I think that this will just be the beginning. But so you are you going to watch the January 6th hearings? <laughs> oh, yeah, I got yeah. yeah, I got it all on my calendar on my yeah. phone. I have all the dates and times. I ain't missing a single one. I'm, I'm not even joking with you. I, oh, I yeah. went through and filled it out. <laughs> got it right That's here. All, all the blue ones. You might be not be able to funny. see it. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be reporting on all of it, you know, after the fact, just given the cliff notes for people who can't watch. But here's the thing, though, I don't think I think it's going to be preaching to the choir. Hmm. I don't hmm. I don't think anybody truly who's who needs to see it is going to see it because I don't think MAGA supporters, I don't think hardcore Trump supporters really care. That's why I don't, Fox News ain't airing it. I don't think I don't think that it's they don't care. I shouldn't say that. I think that they don't want to know the truth. They think it's propaganda. They think it's lies, and so they don't want to pollute their mind. Is I don't even doing. know. It, it, there, I'm sure there's that segment. I'm sure you're right, and there's that certain segment of people who think that it's propaganda. But I think there's some people who know that it's not, and they're afraid of knowing the truth. And I'll tell you why I think that, because I had a run in. This was, um, God, I'm trying to think when it was. There was an incident, you may remember, where Trump was at a rally and somebody yelled out in the audience about shooting immigrants. He was saying, you know, wait, you know, what can we do? You know, we, we haven't. Uh, we, we were trying to stop all of the illegal immigrants coming in, blah, 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 you know, but what, what else can we do? Congress is blocking us, blah, blah, blah. And somebody in the audience yelled out, shoot them. And tr instead of saying, no, no, that's not right. Or, you know, something that you would expect a leader to do. No, of course, Trump pulled his typical shit and he starts making faces and kind of mugging for the camera and like, you know, oh, maybe, you know, maybe that's what we should do. And 
it was all over left wing media. But of course, they're not going to show that on faux news channel or Newsmax or any of those right wing stations. So shortly after that, I was getting my hair done. I have a friend who does my hair. She's also hardcore left left winger, (laughs) you know, progressive. So we get along really great and we're talking. And as we're talking, her next client walks in. It's just the three of us. And the woman who walked in was a very hardcore Trump supporter. So I don't know this, right? We're talking and I I forget what I was saying, but the woman looked at me and said, oh, are you a conservative? Are you a Republican? And I said, no, you know, and I didn't say it's snarky or mean or anything because I didn't want to, I didn't know her. So I want to be mean right off the bat. So something came up and we get on this topic about how Trump needs to do better in bringing the country together. And she starts scoffing at this, you know, that, you know, oh, he, you know, he doesn't do anything to, to divide us and it's the Democrats, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, you know, I just think a leader of a country is almost like a parent, right? You, you kind of try to bring your children together. You don't try to divide them. And if you see that there are fissures, you see that there are disagreements and they're having issues, you, you kind of snap them in line, right? If you mm-hmm. see one doing something wrong, you tell them that's not appropriate. You shouldn't be doing that to your sister, to your brother or whomever, right? And she, again, kind of scoffed at it. And I said, well, I'll give you a perfect example. And I told her what I just told you about how Trump was at the rally and he kind of made a joke out of somebody yelling out to shoot immigrants. And she said, oh, that didn't happen. And I said, no, it, it did. It was on camera. It was videoed. I mean, it was I can. And I started to walk toward her with my phone. I said, here, I'll, I'll show it to you. And she's like, no, 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 no. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. That's okay. And I was like, you don't want to see it? And she's like, no, no, it didn't happen. And I said, it did happen. I'll show it to you. I will prove it to you. It is Trump on camera. And she just kept, no, no, no. Damn. And, and so I realized, yeah, there are, of course, there are Republicans out there who are more logical grounded, not part of the cult. They may have voted for Trump for one reason or another, but they're not MAGA. You know, yeah. they're not crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? they, Evangelicus they, type, like, you know, like they're on, they're on like some cocaine shit. Yeah. I mean, like put the crack pipe down. So those type of people, you know, so she was clearly one of those that, yeah, she did not want anything to burst her cult bubble. She doesn't want to see. And I think that there are a large portion of them out there like that, that they just, they are like the cult members that you see who just, they don't want to hear anything about the cult leader that's, that goes against what they believe. They don't want to see any evidence. It doesn't matter. They're just not going to avail themselves of this information. I think that's going to come out this week. You're, so. you're absolutely right on that. 